some basic concepts of chemistry. Laws of chemical combinations. There are six laws governing the chemical combinations of substances. The law of conservation of mass states that the total mass of the products equals the total mass of the reactants. The law of constant composition states that the elements combine in the same proportion by mass. The law of multiple proportions states that the mass of one element combining with the other bear a simple whole number ratio to one another. The law of reciprocal proportions states that the ratio of the combining masses of two elements with the third one is the same or a whole number multiple of the original ratio. The fifth law is Gay-Lussac's law. This law states that the volumes of reacting gases bear a simple whole number ratio. The sixth law, Avogadro's law, states that equal volumes of all gases contain equal number of molecules. Atoms and Molecules Atoms and molecules form the basic building blocks of matter. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. It also is the smallest particle of matter that can enter into chemical combination. A molecule is the smallest particle of a substance that can have an independent existence. It is formed when two or more atoms join together chemically. Atoms of elements are measured by their atomic mass. Their mass being minuscule, all atoms are compared on a relative scale. It is defined as one-twelfth of the actual mass of a carbon atom, equivalent to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. When the atomic mass of an atom is measured in absolute grams, it is called gram atomic mass. Molecules of substances are also measured by relative mass, the unit of comparison being the same, one-twelfth of the mass of a carbon atom. It is defined as the average relative mass of a molecule of a substance. When the molecular mass of molecules is measured in absolute grams, it is called gram molecular mass. Chemical formula and chemical equations. A chemical formula represents the composition and the number of elements present in a chemical compound. The molecular formula gives the actual number of atoms of each element present in one molecule of a compound. It also denotes the molecular mass of the chemical substance. The empirical formula gives the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of different elements present in a molecule. Large molecules of ionic and network compounds are best described by this formula. The molecular formula will always be a whole number multiple of the empirical formula. A chemical equation symbolically represents a chemical reaction. According to the law of conservation of mass, the changes in reactants and products must always be balanced before and after the reaction. There are two methods to do this. The hit and trial method for simple equations, the partial equation method for complex equations having many reactants and products. The mole concept. The mole concept is a measure of concentration of substances in chemistry. The mole unit is based on the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon-12. In terms of particles, such as atoms, molecules, ions, 
or electrons. This has a value of 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 of the concerned unit that can be atom, molecule, electron or ion. This is called Avogadro's number. In terms of volume at normal temperature and pressure, this value is 22.4 liters of a given gas. In terms of mass, this is equivalent to 1 gram molecular mass of a substance. Concentration of a substance Most chemical reactions are carried out in solutions. The concentration of a substance in a solution is a measure of its strength in solution. Molarity measures the number of moles of solute dissolved per liter of solution at any given temperature. Normality measures the number of gram equivalents of solute dissolved per liter of solution at any given temperature. Molality measures the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1000 grams or 1 kg of solvent at any given temperature.